Good evening, everybody, and thank you very much for joining us this evening with Proteus Coach Mark Boucher. As usual, I'd like to remind everybody to please put their questions or their request to ask a question on the chat panel. Um, one question per person, please. We're going to be extremely strict because we're very pressed for time. Um, we have to vacate the premises very quickly because of COVID regulations. Um, who would like to go first? We'll start with Nathan and then Telford. Uh, Mark. Uh... Good evening. Uh, are you currently happy with the current state of your side in terms of transformation goals, performance and management balance? Uh, yes, I am. Telford? How's it, Bouch? Uh, bad luck on the result. Um, we could see that the picture is obviously turning and conditions, you know, were favoring spin. So. Where's the balance? Was how much was bad batting and how much was just conditions and good bowling by them and catching, obviously? Yeah, look, I mean, we didn't start off well. I think that was the turning um, stage of the game, um, which is quite frustrating um, because our top order, everyone's had a, a good knock in the last two games or the previous two games. So they've, they've spent some time out in the middle. Of the guys in good form. Um, you know, on a wicket that is tough, especially, um, and it's going to get tougher as the game gets on. Um, to lose three wickets in the first five five overs, and then four of your, your top six in the, in the first ten, you're always going to be on the back foot. So, although we kept up with the rate the entire time, we just lost wickets, um, and I think that is the the big turning point in the game. You know, I think they did bowl well. Um, they bowled smartly. Um, I thought um, the the seamers who opened, he bowled with some good energy and bowled good areas. Um, backed up by some good catching as well. So, you know, you've got to give credit where it's due. And I think they, they started off the innings very well and put us in the back foot straight away. Okay. Thanks, Sips. Uh, hi, Mark. Um, just to, um, I guess, dwell on a, a little bit of a positive. Um, you, you played in an era where um, it would have been unheard of to, play, <laughs> to rely as much on spin as you guys did today. Um, quite amazing to see, I think, 40 out of the 50 overs bowled by spin. Um, and, and it hasn't just been a one-off. I mean, there's been a bit of a process in the last couple of years, uh, a greater reliance on spin. Can, can you just talk to us about the journey? Like, how, how have we come to this point? Um, has it been hard to really change? Has it been a case of really completely changing mindsets? I think, first of all, you need to have the spinners. So I think we have got the spinners. Um, you know, they're bowling really well at the moment. So to the point where I think that if you have a look at the stats in all three games, um, we probably out bowled them. Um, you know, whether it's us, us playing playing better or playing worse, I'm not too sure. But the stats are saying that, that, that we were a bit of spinning attack, if you want to call it that. Um, I think it's a, it's a change of mindset. Um, you know, as South Africans, we used to... Uh, fast bowlers, um, with a lot of all-rounders coming in. And I think that's where the mindset has probably changed with regards to our guys as well. Um, but as I said, you've got to, you've got to back that up with, with good spinning uh, options. And I think that is where we, we are quite strong at the moment. We've got, some, we've got a lot of depth in our spinning departments and our guys are, are really competing with, you know, at the top of the world's best. Shema, you know, he's the, the world T, T, or he's number one in the, in, in the T20 format. I think Keshi's really come a long way in the last couple of years as well. So he's bowling, you know, at his best. So, as I said, I think um, the, the mindset has changed. It's shifted uh, to try to be more smarter in these conditions. When we got here this morning, it was pretty simple to make the decision with, with all the respect because it was really, we knew it was going to turn. Um, and and I think I think we got that right. Alicia? Hi, Mark. Um, Kesh has been greatest captain the last two games. Uh, what is the thinking behind appointing Kesh as standard captain? Um, Kesh has got a very smart brain. Um, you know, he's shown that he's he's performed really well as, as captain uh, for the Dolphins. Um, you know, he's as I said, he's been bowling really well, and I think that he's had a fantastic start. Um, you know, I'll be at a standing captain for Thames. Um, you know, I think the, the way that he's led the guys in the field, he's, he's, his bowling changes, his fielding positions, he demands a lot of respect on the field, for, um, you know, from the rest of the guys as well. So he's been fantastic uh, in, the, in the environment. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's good signs when, when a guy has to come in as, as a stand-in and he, he shows great quality and leadership like he has. So very happy for him. Um, 
and I'm sure you know it leaves us with a lot of confidence you know going into into the future stages of, of white ball cricket that Kesh is around and, and he's, he's showing his leadership qualities. Nathan and then we'll finish with Michael. Oh, Balch, another disappointing series. Uh, as a former Prota leader and a head coach of the side, where to from here? Because, I mean, you've lost quite a few ODIs, T20s and Tests as a coach. Uh, what's the way forward from here, especially with the T20 announcement coming up? I think you, you've got to look at where, we, where we're playing. We're playing in some tough conditions as well. Um, you know, the history of South Africa against Sri Lanka at the Premier Dasa Stadium, and it's not a good record that we've got in South Africa. I think I'm looking at the positives. Um, you know, we've... We've come here, yes, we've, we're missing a couple of senior senior batters especially, but I thought, you know, the first game, um, you know, we, we put, on, put up a good fight. If I look at the series as a whole, um, you know, you come to a subcontinent and you're playing in these conditions, uh, we were given an opportunity to win the series and the first game. I think that we we were very in control of that run chase and we maybe slipped up in a, in a period of five overs. Um, you know, we may be unfortunate as well to lose, lose timber when we did, but, you know, in order to win a series in the subcontinent, you you've got to cash in when, when that opportunity arises. So I think that is that is probably our biggest regret, that we didn't finish off that first game. The second game, we played really well. Um, and in the last game, yeah, as I said, we, you know, which happens in these conditions at times, you lose a couple of wickets up front, you're always going to be on the back foot. So there's a lot of positives to take out of out of this series as well. Yes, it's not nice losing, um, but our focus is going to change quickly now to the T20s and, and obviously um, looking forward to the, the T20 World Cup as well. So. Um, yeah, not nice to lose, but uh, a lot of good things that we can take out of this as well. Hi, Mark. Um, I just want to ask about um, what your thoughts are around the balance of the side in these last two T20s. Um, some may say that you were a, a bit of a batsman light. Um, what are your thoughts around the balance of the side um, in these last two matches? Um, so I think obviously the, the spinner that we needed to play um, sort of threw us threw us a bit. Um, so we 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 always going to go into the game with two spinners. In the second game, we decided to go in with three. Um, whether we got that decision right or not, because of the rain, you know, I think Unrich would have been a, a handful on the, on on that wicket as well. And we just thought that you know with with the three spinners coming in, um, we wanted to have an option of three seamers as well. Um, that is why we took the batter out. And, and put Vian in. Um, also with the fact that, that our guys are, are, in, are in some good form as well. So, you know, looking at the last game now, would it have been nice to have another batter? Yes, it would have been uh, in hindsight, but I still think we would have been under immense pressure after losing four batters in the, in the first 10 overs of the game. So, um, yeah, it would have been nice, but I also think that the depth that we got in our, in our batting with all the all-rounders there... Um, oh, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. We've we batted right down to Kesh at the depth at the end. There. So I think it's more just up front that we that that, we realized, that, that sort of cost us. Not the not the fact that um, we we maybe went in with a better shot. Mm -hmm.